Yo guys, Chris here, back in the video, and today we are on race four of six of the regular season. We are halfway through our league as of right now. The standings, they're going to get mashed up because as you see, uh, Schmidt and Nismo Kings are both in for the playoffs. But the mid-pack right now, being Drift Kings, Chokizone, and Autobot are all really close. But the thing is, Drift Kings and Chokizone are not here for this because of certain reasons. Uh, so yeah, we're only at five racers today, so that's really going to help. Uh, it's going to help Ika right here, because he is barely in that playoffs right now. It's going to hurt people like Derpy. Uh, Lambo Styles back. He was in ninth place, and I did the one race, so we'll see how everything goes today. We're going to go ahead and start this race. 12 laps at Hockenheim, uh, the full circuit. Only one quick stop, you know. It's a 12-lap race, so it's going to be slightly longer. I think maybe not too much, but maybe it'll be like a couple minutes more longer than the usual 20 minutes. Uh, Spa was the quickest race, obviously, because that track is just basically full throttle. Autobots gonna have the lead. Eco second, and it's definitely gonna be fun here. And we got a safety car that will be Nismo Kings heading into the first turn. Very quick, very clean. As of right now, Autobot with the lead. He's still looking for that win to get into the playoffs. He's got the Forza RC on him. YouTube Gaming on the back. That's Autobot. Eco leads your top two. Behind that, you've got Nismo Kings, Drift King, or Nismo Kings, Lambo Style, Ultra, and Schmidt. We'll have to see when these guys use their pit stops. Right now, Autobot is going extremely quick uh, through here. Two seconds already, but we got a nice battle going here for second and third, so let's go ahead and look at that. Let's get a look right here. We've got going through the hairpin. Eco's going to go for the outside, and he's actually, Lambo's going to go ahead and take the pass there. That was a great uh pass there let's go to eco here sitting in fourth place he's gonna try to get around on lambo here this is one of the trickier turns as you can see a lot of people are sliding and uh eco is gonna have a little bit of contact there uh that didn't affect anything too much so i think we're good there at the hood cam now autobot first nismo second lambo eco and schmidt these guys kind of have separated themselves out a little bit we'll have to see uh how this kind of goes when people get their pit stops, but uh, right now, three, four, and five are right next to each other. Uh, we'll have to see what happens on this straight here because Lambo right now leading the pack of these three drivers, but Schmidt's gonna look at the inside, can't find it. Eco does not wanna get past and get that fifth position because uh, Schmidt is a very fast driver, so they have to watch out for that. Lambo's gonna go for the early pit. Smart job there, he doesn't wanna be battling. And we have uh, Nismo crossing second, Eco, and then Schmidt. So, a uh, smart move by, like I said, by uh, Lambo, as you can see him back there. Because uh, now, like I said, he's not going to have to fight. He's not going to have to defensive drive, stuff like that. So, that's he should come out in front of uh, Eco and Schmidt. But we'll have to see. Uh, really nice battle we have right here. Let's go ahead and go to the game cameras on and see if he's going to be able to pull off a pass here. The Noble, a very good car. Maybe not the best at handling as we already, uh, already seen some track extends from him uh, because it doesn't have the best... Uh, it has quite a lot of understeer, I should say. And you'll be able to see that as we head into this corner. He's going to have to go very deep. Actually, not too bad. He was able to keep it, but a lot of compromises with this car. Uh, so that's something they're going to work, uh, work on here. And uh, Schmidt being the leader right now in our championship, he should be fine and be able to work that car. Let's head over to Autobot. He is your race leader right now. Uh, very quick in the Viper. We'll just see if he's going to go ahead and take his pit stop here. Look at what kind of lap time he's going to be posting. Let's uh, look go to the um, lap times. Here we go. We'll just see what it looks like after they pass here. Who's going to set the fastest second lap? Autobot, obviously had the fastest first lap uh it's kind of obvious he's the first one across but he's made a big lead on nismo here uh is he gonna go for the pits yes he is Ooh, i i don't think he wanted to and it was like a last minute decision really so uh obviously not gonna have a quick lap time there because of the pit and nismo is gonna go for the pits too let's take a look back at eco he's not gonna take it but it's gonna be close on the outside and i'm gonna have to investigate that after the race Make sure I remember that. Lap 3 of 12. 
I don't know what happened between there, but Schmidt is going to dive bomb, and it will probably not work out. I don't think he's too happy right now with Eco. Something probably went on, but Eco's going to be able to go across. As you can see, a lot of damage on Eco. So something must have happened. I think he must have hit him in the back, obviously. Let's take a look at the back of Schmidt's car. Can't really see anything right now, and that could have been bad. It kind of is bad. I don't think Schmidt is driving as quick as he wants to right now because he's not too happy with Eco. But now that's revenge right there. Now Eco has a huge lead on uh, Schmidt right now. Let's go ahead and see where Lambo came out uh, compared to Drift Kings and them. Or Nismo Kings, sorry. Looks like Nismo got quite a big lead. See what kind of lead we're looking at here. Gosh, come on. Oh my, come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there for... Actually, no, never mind. Lambo was in the back. He was in the, uh... He was in third place. We'll just see where he comes out compared to Eco and Schmidt. But actually, uh, by going for the undercut there, he's actually kind of caught up to Nismo Kings a, a little bit. I'm not too sure. It's a four second difference, but I think Nismo had a bigger lead. Uh, before they did that strategy Let's head back up to the top here between Eco and Schmidt. Let's see if they're gonna take their pit stops uh, Wow Schmidt caught up very Schmidt caught up a lot, but he's still overextending. I think he wants revenge and that's not uh, A lot of track extending right now for uh, Schmidt. He's on the verge of a penalty uh, Which would not be good for him a little bit of a love tap there Let's go to Schmidt. Let's see what's going to happen here as we head into the ultimate second corner. And we'll see what happens. Dude, the hairpin is... He's not going to dive bomb just yet. I think he knows that uh, the Viper has a little more speed here. So he's just going to get past anyway. Once again, that curb is really messing with the Noble. Uh, so here's the long straight. It's not really a straight, but definitely in hands of the Viper. And... See, the thing is, I think Schmidt, he was close, but now he's too far away to even make a move. Uh, so yeah, running wide, he's going to get stuck in the grass. Little too wide there. That was not a good mood, or move. Schmidt is not on top of his game today. Let's head back to Autobot, which is your technical, or not, he's technically your lead racer right now. Uh, even though he is in third. He's got quite a lead on Nismo. He's not even coming across that hairpin yet. Wow. Autobot has an amazing lead right now. He does not afford to take a mistake. Right, or get a mistake, I mean. Yeah, he's got a 15 second lead right now. Look at this livery. It's actually very nice. The Forza RC livery. Uh, Nismo Kings and Lambo are right next to each other. Let's head over to the replay cameras. They're not right next to each other, but they're close. That's good for Lambo because uh, said Lambo was kind of far behind his opening. He was like four seconds. He's made up three seconds in the matter of a lap. And uh, the pit stop strategy really did work because Nismo Kings was fighting the whole time. Uh, and so that kind of let Lambo just easily get some clean air. So that's going to definitely be a good fight there in the Mercedes, obviously. Versus the Viper, or not the Viper, the Lamborghini. When will Lambo style Ultra not actually use a Lamborghini? Who will know? I didn't check pit stops, uh, but it looks like uh, Schmidt is taking his pit stop. I didn't get to see Eco. I don't think he is. So Eco is right now in that first place. I'm sure he will use his pit stop. I think he learned that uh, the first time. Uh, but yeah, this is our lowest attending race. I said, unfortunately for Chioki Zone, couldn't make this race same with uh, Drift King. So we're not, we don't have those two guys. Derpy King is actually in Bristol right now, which is pretty cool uh, for him. So yeah, we're missing those three guys. And then Top Gear AR-12 can make it either. So very good chance here for someone like Lambo Style or Autobot, even Eco. Those three guys still don't have a win, and they could possibly guarantee a playoff spot here. This is a great chance for Autobot to guarantee a playoff spot by getting a win here, but he's going to make sure that 
He doesn't mess up, but we still have a good battle right here between Lambo and Nismo Kings. 69. Nice. Let's go to Lambo style. The lead is two, about 200 feet right now. So not too far away. He is really catching up. I mean, one about 130 feet now. The lap times are only half a second different. It's still a faster lap time than Nismo Kings though. Autobot with the 146. Yeah, I think this race is his and unless something bad happens. Eco is in the pits right now, so we'll have to see where he comes out compared to these guys. Uh, obviously, Lambo and Eco right next to each other. Same with Schmidt, so we'll have to see where they come out. But I think Lambo obviously got the best of the undercut here. Uh, and it's going to it's gonna prove to be correct because Eco is still back there. I don't even know where Schmidt is. Uh, he's very far back, so... Undercut definitely didn't work for Schmidt there. He was battling way too much with Eco. We see Eco in the pit lane there. So yeah, Lambo, a great way to place himself in third. But Eco and Schmidt are going to come close to each other. I still think Schmidt we're gonna, is going to have it. It's going to be close. There comes Eco and there's Schmidt. And another track is standing by Schmidt. Eco is going to come out behind them. This could be something here. We could see a possibility of a wreck. I'm going to catch back up to that. But for now, let's head back to Lambasaw Ultra. Lead is a little bit more than the Smoke Kings now. It's a one second lead. Uh, are interesting when you head into that first corner. Uh, whether, like, because you're determining the whole field seat so to defensively drive, which isn't as good as just driving as fast as you can. Uh, Schmidt, everybody's doing a quicker lap right now. That is crazy. With only three to go, everybody's kind of like, everybody's pushing now. That uh, third position is still up for grabs really second kind of far away uh i don't know Let, let's head back to schmidt here what are the chances he can actually definitely pulled in some very quick lap times in his double lately uh the sector there 30 uh 38 seconds 37 so he's only two behind now lambo's four behind so he is definitely under pressure now Two laps to go. Will Schmidt be able to pull in a third position? That's definitely going to help because right now, if he doesn't, this book means he's going to make up 10 points, and that means we're going to have a very close battle for who will be uh, really for the last two races who can pull off a first place in the regular season. Obviously, that's going to have a huge advantage going into the playoffs here. But ever since the first two races, really, Schmidt hasn't done much. He won the first race, obviously, uh, if you haven't seen that. And second race, he got second place. But last race, he got like fifth, I think. And now this race in fourth. But this is getting good to hear the Noble once again. Uh, 8.2 speed. It's the quickest in a straight line out of all these cars. So, it's just been a lot of bad corners for him, I think. Especially the hairpin. I've seen him in a couple laps. He just like goes to the out. Very helpful, uh, but once again though, we'll have to see what kind of penalties go across on Schmidt Because right now if he can pull off a third place, that'd be really really good Lambo is now definitely under pressure almost hitting that wall there Otherwise, especially now with the uh, Lambo battling for third place I think Nismo has locked up second place and Autobot should lock up the win. It's a 4,000 feet difference Eco is still way back there, so Really, the only position left is third and fourth. A great battle at the end of the race. I knew we'd have a last lap uh, battle here. I knew it happened. Ever since lap nine, when he started, or when Schmidt started getting some good lap times, I knew we were gonna have a battle here. And the undercut for Lambo obviously worked a whole lot of, as I've already said. He got a huge lead on Schmidt because he was battling with Eco. But now it's all coming down to the last lap. Lambo's going to go a little bit deep there. That's going to leave Schmidt right behind him. He's going to have the slipstream probably on the back straight. If you can even call it a back straight. He's got to make sure there's no contact here. Lambo with the defensive driving does not hit the corner the best. And now we are on the straight here. This is getting good for the last lap. We're going to stay in Schmidt's view here because it's probably going to give us the best view. Once again, this is crazy. Just think about it. This is all live. 
the person sitting right here was just like, oh, oh, the defense is defensive by Lambo. Oh, he's going to go to the inside, but he's going to leave the inside wide open. And there's a little bit of contact. Oh, that is going to have to be investigated. I don't know who, whose fault that was there. But that is definitely going to have to be investigated. Be doing that right after the race. Once again, though, it's not over because Schmidt does have a second worth of uh, track extending penalties. So if Lambo can finish a second uh, behind, that'd be good. We have to look now at the time behind the leader. That is what we have to look at. Go to time behind leader, gosh. Time behind leader. Time behind leader. He's definitely not within a second, though. So we do have to give it to that. So we will be reviewing or investigating, uh, obviously, what happened to Schmidt. Anything between Autobot and Nismo Kings or Eco, even if there were penalties, is too far away to uh, like be able to give a penalty with. So let's see, 2447, yeah, that's definitely more than a second. So that was actually four seconds. So uh, we'll have to see what happened once again with those last, uh, in those last corners there.